um, Betsy and Tony Luker, and, and um, I found out about them because of the Saturday sauce that that I'm gonna tell you about in just a minute. And uh, and they run this great convenience store called the Jefferson Country Store, but but the store. I grew up in this store, so I, my family and I lived next door to this store until I was about four, and then we lived about two miles down the road. Uh, and I, you know, I think that most of the people that I know, I know from this store. Um, just, I'm 38 years old, and I've, I've been in here all of my life, really, off and on. Uh, when we were kids, we hung out at the store with my aunt or my mom, whoever was running it at the time, uh, and I. It's just the relationships that everybody that comes through here, we feel like we're family, and we really are because we've spent so much time at the table together in these rocking chairs or, you know, just, just listening to the old timers tell you stories that you know you might not ever hear again, uh, that probably no one else knows or remembers quite like they do. Um, we've, we've definitely built some relationships here over the years, and I think for the year that the store was closed, that's what we miss the most is that fellowship. You have it at church, you have it at your community covered dish suppers and things like that, but the everyday element of it, I think happens right here. Yeah, so this store, is un it's a little bit unique in that we really are in the middle of nowhere, aren't we? We are. What's the closest town? You are about eight to 10 miles from both Linden and Demopolis. Okay. So it's really not far in the grand scheme of things. That uh, eight minute drive is not that far. If you were in town, eight minutes would be a couple of blocks. Right. Uh, and so you feel like, just because it's a scenic route, it's not as populated, feel like you're way out here. It's really not. You know, we have a lot of people that come from Demopolis and Linden and eat lunch here throughout the week. You know, they'll come for a, a quieter lunch if they're trying to have a meeting or something like that. They'll come sit at our table and they know that it's a quiet spot, generally speaking. Now, it gets busy every now and then, uh, but it's, it's just far enough they can get away, but not so far that it takes a long time to get here. Uh, they know they can call in an order. It'll be here when they get here. Uh, or if they come in and order, it's it's ready pretty quickly. And so, if folks are traveling through, I mean, what are, are there some general store hours you try to keep? Yeah, usually uh, don't do breakfast anymore. Just lunch. We start serving lunch. We start serving burgers around nine. We usually do burgers till two. And as long as the barbecue lasts, we serve it. And on uh, Saturdays, we close at three. surprise for us the first weekend that we were open and 50 to 60 motorcycles stopped in the parking lot we didn't know what to do we we went into this fairly blindly we knew the community and we knew what the stores needs were we knew the, the purpose that it served in our community we we never could have had any idea of, of how things would would go the way this journey would go because we didn't have any business going into business we didn't know anything about going into business Tony had had worked in sales and I worked in communications, so that was the extent of it for us. We didn't know how to run a business. Um, a minute ago, you, you started to say this this wasn't really about business. Uh, not, it's not about business at all. It, it's about community for us. Um, if this was about getting rich, we'd have gone home a long time ago. Um, this is about trying to figure out how to make it work so that we can keep something going for our community. We, we just need to pay the power bill, pay the rent, and keep some stock on the shelves, you know. Um, you know, we talked about locally sourcing and things like that. We, we don't buy in bulk. We don't have the freezer space to buy in bulk. We're not buying off the Cisco truck. Tony is, is buying fresh ground beef, and he's pounding these hamburgers on the griddle. That was one of the very first conversa conversations that we had. We're not going to be able to stay alive selling somebody else's hamburger patty. 
And we just thought that that meant we can't pay that price for a hamburger patty and then sell it. I don't think we had any idea how much it would mean to people to be able to have a fresh cut, a fresh cut of bologna or or a freshly pounded hamburger patty. Um, that that has taken on a completely different meaning now, where it's it's not about us selling something that we buy somewhere else. We've got to make and pour into what we're doing here, uh, and, and I think that's what sets things apart here. And so, a lot of the people that follow me on social media, they they believe in this way of life because this is what I write about a lot. And so, um, tell them what they can do to help you preserve what you're preserving support it. Any, anytime you see somebody doing something that you believe in, even if it's not something you feel like you can make the time to do yourself, if you see somebody doing it, man, just, just do whatever you can to help them. Even if it's spreading the word, you know, we talk about social media so much and we all see the little graphic that says the biggest thing you can do is support your friends on social media, share their business. Do that. You know, be their, be their cheerleaders and, and anytime that you can support small do it. Shop small and support the local families because because it's it's not the big guys that are going to come in and save communities. It's not those guys that are going to come in and preserve our, our folklore and our, our heritage and our culture and our ways. It's the people that live in the communities. Now, somebody else could come into Jefferson and try to run this business and, and they'd probably do fine. I don't know. I'm not saying that we can all, we're the only ones that can do this, but, but because we live here and we know the people here, we know how to reach them. We know how to serve them pretty much. Tony knows what they want on their burger, but we know them. We know who they are. We know when they're having a bad day and Tony can give them a really terrible joke and brighten their day, whatever. Um, it's about knowing who you serve and wanting to serve them. You've got to want to serve. How to folks, tell us where to find you on social media. We're on Facebook and we're on Instagram. We're also on TikTok. TikTok's a lot of work, it turns mm -hmm. out. We do have a star, but he, he's busy all the time, uh, but we're Jefferson Country Store on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. Okay, and, and then one more time, if they want, let's just say somebody wants to order a bottle of the sauce just as their way of being a patron, tell them how to call and do that. Call us at 334-289-0040 or send us a message on Facebook, but we'd really rather you just come here and get it. Yeah. So and I and I want to encourage everybody to come here too. If you're coming from from parks elsewhere down, maybe to the beach or to Florida to Disney World or whatever, do try to look. We're we're not that far from Demopolis, Alabama. If you'll punch in Jefferson Country Store into your whatever your map finder is that you're using, it'll bring you right here because it's on every every GPS will bring you right here to the store. So it's not that far out of the way. Do come by for a visit. Hey, what's red and bad for your teeth? What? A brick? Yeah. <laughs> what's brown and sticky? What? A stick? Okay. What the so I'm in Jefferson, Alabama. I just wanted to point out this is the uh, Jefferson Methodist Church. And over here is the... My Cave is being obnoxious because she's ready to go. She's tired of waiting on me. So that's the Jefferson Baptist Church. Here's a really cool thing about this community now. They have church at the Baptist Church on the first and third Sunday, and then they have church at the Methodist Church on the second and fourth Sunday. Folks go to both churches because denominations here don't matter. They just want to serve and love Jesus. And so I wanted to show you though, you got the two churches here and you got the store here. And so the store really is right in the heart of the community and so you, you you've got the two churches in the store if you ever coming through south alabama punch in jefferson country store and swing by you're going to love these people you're going to love the store you're going to love the feel and the nostalgia and the down home sentiment that it has and you're going to love that saturday sauce too y'all have a great day.